Hey guys, Jacob Wheeler here. You know, I'm gonna talk to you today a little bit about a bait that you might not have heard a lot about for bass, but it is a killer. There's a lot of different ways to fish it, but today we're gonna talk about how I fish it vertical in one of my favorite ways. Actually fishing it vertically on the grass. So actually watching the bait down there and watching the fish react in, in video game fishing. This is one of the best baits to do that, and we're gonna show you how. You know, there's a lot of different reasons why the jigging wrap is so effective. But one of the biggest reasons why is because it's so erratic. It, it constantly is moving and it shows those fish out there in that open water something they haven't seen. They don't see that. They all see all these different baits out there, but this bait is just something that works for largemouth, it works for walleye, it works for multiple species, and it's just that erratic action that really triggers that bite. The jigging wrap is, is basically uh, a heavier uh, jigging bait that allows you to fish in deep water in, and shallow water both. But if you look at it, it has two smaller hooks on both ends, um, and then it has a number six VMC treble on the bottom. And that allows you to, when you're hopping that thing and it's darting left and right, if a fish just snaps at it, he's hooked. I mean, it, it's a mouse trap waiting to happen. <laughs> Most of the time, I'm gonna keep it really simple with the jigging wrap, but, but rod action in, in, in line is really important. 14 pound suffix, 100% uh, fluorocarbon is really, really good. I also use a seven to one gear ratio. That allows me when those fish, when I hook that fish, I can really keep up with it. Um, and then just a softer tip rod, medium heavy, um, something with a little bit of backbone towards the back, but you want a little bit of tip to where it really allows that bait to move around and dart around and really keep that action. And then one last thing, because this bait reacts and acts so differently and is always moving around, it, it can cause line twists. So what I like to do is I put like a little snap swivel right on the head of it, and that really eliminates that so you don't have to have any issues with that. Or you just put a, a swivel up the line, tie a swivel up the line, and, and that just you know, seems to, to, to solve that issue. So basically what I, when I'm fishing out deep, I'm looking for areas that, that fish are, are gonna be moving into. It's a really good pre-spawn technique or, or post-spawn. Um, but I'm gonna get out here a little bit deeper water, 15 to 20 foot of water. But realistically, I'm looking at my graph. So now I'm, I'm watching my bait come off the bottom. I'm snapping around and it's, and it's darting over here and it's darting over there, just darting here and there. But I can see it and all of a sudden, if I see a fish move up off the bottom, I'll snap it, snap it, snap it, and stop it. And that's when doom, they normally bite it, because it has such a great action that when I'm snapping that bait up and down, and it's, and it's going this way and that way and this way, it gets that fish's attention, and then when it settles down and stops, it sort of sweeps around and stops, they can't stand it. It's right in front of their face, and they bite it. So in addition to the jigging wraps, unbelievable action, we have six great new fish catching colors. You have some shad colors in there, you got some bluegill colors, and you even have some crawdad colors. So you definitely have to be trying these things out. They're unbelievable and they'll catch bass all over the country.